Uh, thank you. I'm way over oh, here. Sorry. That's okay. It's, it's a big room. I know it's been a long day. Thank you uh, so much um, uh, for uh, sharing everything um, from your experience to the testimony, the testimony earlier of the witnesses. I'm reminded of uh, Elie Wiesel, and two quotes come to mind. He, he said uh, famously, whoever hears a witness becomes a witness. And today we uh, become witnesses to the horrific uh, atrocities and war crimes taking place in, in, in Ukraine. Uh, he also says, if we forget, we kill the victims a second time. And we cannot forget. We must do everything we can to make sure that the perpetrators of these crimes are held accountable and face the consequences of their actions. And I'll say at the same time, we must constantly remind the world where we stand on the right side of history, on the moral side of his history, with the people of Ukraine, with the country of Ukraine. Um, and that uh, I pray this war comes to an end as quickly as possible, but I also am committed to make sure that we continue to prosecute the crimes for as long as necessary. Uh, and I enjoy, and I join my esteemed colleagues on both sides of, of the aisle who have uh, expressed uh, the, the solemn hope that President Putin, his lieutenants, and all the people guilty of these crimes um, face justice. Uh, I also, Mr. Chairman, Ranking member, I appreciate the role that uh, this committee has played and will continue to play um, in shedding light on these atrocities and um, the work you do and the witnesses coming here. Uh, this will not be, I suspect, the last time we, we talk about this. Um, I'm also pleased that last month the International Criminal Court did announce charges against Putin and issued an arrest warrant for him. Um, for this to be effective, um, I think the testimony, the satellite images, the myriad of materials collected have to be retained, have to be stored, uh, and be available uh, to establish guilt. Uh, no doubt in my mind that Putin is guilty, that we will be able to prove his guilt. Uh, but with so many crimes, I know it's crucial that your office uh, and the international community keep track. Um, it is easy to say, to use terms such as countless, inconceivable. Um, we have to count and we have to make sure that the world understands and comes to the conception of, of what has happened. Uh, so to, to that end, um, in a little bit of time left, Mr. Prosecutor General, uh, what are you doing? How can we in the United States best help to make sure that the evidence is collected appropriately, the chains of custody are preserved uh, effectively, records are maintained, so that when the time comes when Putin and his cronies face trial, they won't be able to say, this isn't true, this didn't happen. The, the evidence will be presented, it will be overwhelming, and it will be substantiated. Thank you. Thank you for your support, and thank you for your question. First of all, um, we are working in a very structural, uh, very structural way. Um, my, actually, my head of my um, uh, War Crimes uh, Persecution Department, uh, Yuri Belousov, uh, he just yesterday uh, reported to me that they have finalized strategy of investigation and prosecution of war crimes, which is um, created at war time by our investigators, prosecutors, but with all international projects involved, especially Atrocity Crimes Advisory Group, which is created with the help of U.S. government, together with U.K. and EU colleagues, and uh, together with non-governmental organizations involved. And this is a strategic document. So we are not only dealing with specific cases. We help ourselves, with the help of our partners, to structure the work of our department, of our prosecutors and investigators. We also have constant and permanent sets of trainings, not only held in Ukraine, but also abroad, with the help of our partners to raise the level of our prosecutors and investigators, because they need to meet the highest criteria, which I think could be met either in courts of United States, United Kingdom, European countries, or the ICC, because we all understand 
my word to my prosecutors. Every case, every evidence you collect, you need to think about that this evidence could be used at the International Criminal Court, which has very high standards. And you need to be very careful in documenting these evidences because we did, don't have a right to lose any case. So I am absolutely with you, and your question is extremely important to highlight the necessity of the high quality of evidence collected. This is my primary task. We are backed and supported by all international project, projects of support and national um, prosecution authorities who are helpful to us to train our prosecutors and investigators to meet these criteria. But I also wanted to raise, to say one, one word. You know, you mentioned the statistics. You mentioned the figures. These hearings today, it's about, not about the figures, it's about real lives. We all need to come back to real destinies, to real people who are the victims and survivors of this war. And behind every figure are people's lives. We need not to forget about it. Thank you, that is so important. Um, this is a crime against humanity and the world will hold uh, Russia and Putin to account. But as you touch on, every single individual, their story, their family, their community is a victim. And we must remember each of the, each of the victims as those individuals. Uh, Mr. Chairman, again, I thank you so much for having this hearing. I know we will have more on this. We have much work ahead of us. And uh, I would speak for our nation. We stand with you in your very difficult task, but uh, we are with you shoulder by shoulder.